Alright guys, I am back for part 34 of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. And in this episode, I will be taking on the Cinnabar Island Gym, which is here. And now I can actually go into here because I have my secret key. So yeah, let's go. And I know I have to explain a couple of things. Uh, as, as before, as shown, like when I showed my Nido King, you know, being evolved from other Pokemon. But yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I'm going to talk to this guy first. Yo, champ in the making. The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Dowsy spirits of water, you'd better take some burn heals. Who needs burn heals when you've got this Pokemon? Lapras. Lapras is going to single-handedly own the shit out of this gym, man. This is going to be so freaking easy. Anyway, first trainer up first. I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Yet, he's a burglar. Okay, that totally makes sense. He said he used to be a thief. But he's still a freaking burglar. That doesn't make freaking sense to me. But whatever. Pokemon logic, I guess. And yeah, I'm going to use Surf. But uh, yeah, as you can see, before the footage before the one I'm showing you right now was actually my Nido ran evolving into a Nidorino. I only had to grind it one level and then obviously it evolved into a Nidorino. And then after that, as you saw, I used the Moonstone and then evolved my Nidorino into a Nido King. And yeah, that was that. And also, I decided to, after that, I decided to grind my Nido King. And it was, it was pretty fun because not only did, um, after that, I, I taught my Nido King some moves, I taught it Shockwave and Counter. I also, for some reason, I just brought out my Charmeleon for no apparent reason because I felt like it. And then it leveled up to level 34 and it actually learned a move that I thought it could only learn when it got to a Charizard. And that is Flamethrower. I had no idea. It actually learns that move at level 34 without even evolving into a Charizard. I had no idea that could happen but I'll take it I'm not complaining so yeah maybe my Charmeleon will become a whole a whole lot more useful now instead of being completely useless useless like the other time so yeah, it's nice it's nice and my Lapras snapped out of confusion water pulse and that should be the end of nine tails seriously with Lapras at my disposal this this gym will pretty much be a pushover and I defeated the burglar Quinn I surrender and he gave me a whole bundle of cash, winning. And as I beat that trainer, the gate of opportunity to the next trainer opens. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Sorry, I kind of lost the words there. I was like, what? <laughs> My br I kind of had a brain fade there. Super Nerd Eric sends out a Volpix. And for that, I'll send out my trusty Lapras. But uh, yeah, um. I'm going to probably safely say right now that um, Nidoking's probably going to be my Pokemon team all the way till the end. I'm more likely... I'm, I'm probably not going to use my Primeape again. I just... I, I genuinely do not like that Pokemon. I just think Nidoking looks cooler. I don't really care if it's weaker or stronger. I just... I just simply want Nidoking because it looks cool and it looks badass. Like, that's the only reason why I want it. But yeah, like, I decided... Uh, if you're wondering where I got counter, I actually got counter because um, I went to the Celadon department store and there was this guy who was giving the move counter for free. So I was like, mm, why not give it to my Nido King? Because before it had counter, I mean, it's still not that good right now, but before I got counter on my Nido King, its moveset was so freaking bad. And so I decided to put on counter and it's decent, I guess, because I think it, it hits double the damage that the opponent afflicts, inflicts on you. So. That, that'll be pretty useful, and I also taught it Shockwave. Although it's not the it's not the most powerful po uh, Thunder type move out there, it actually can't miss. So, I mean that that's a positive, man. That is an absolute positive. And yeah, I was like, wow, are you, are you serious, man? Like I had no idea that my Charmeleon could actually learn Flame. Uh, flame I can't say it. That move, the Flamethrower. I cannot. Just some words in life which I can just not say. But yeah. That move, I had no idea that he could learn it before I became a Charizard. I was just so freaking surprised, man. And I was like, yes, yes. Maybe my Charmeleon will become a whole lot, <laughs> a whole lot more useful now. And Surf, just to finish it off. Burn, okay. That won't do anything anyway. I'm just gonna finish this battle quite easily. Nine Tails was kind of a challenge, but not really at the same time. And I defeated the Super Nerd Eric. 
Yow! Hot, hot, hot! And I'm good. There's another guy. He's pretty much identical. But before I go into battle with this guy, I'm gonna have to use. Do I have a burn heal? Yes, I'll use it on my Lapras. And at the same time, I'll use some super potions on it. And just heal it up. And then now I'll face this guy. I've studied Pokemon thoroughly. You can't win. Noob, I think we all know that Aiden always wins. I'm a winner, not a loser. And a Ponyta he sent out. Ponyta, interesting. And for that, I will use Water Pulse. One hit KO? Yep. All day, every day with Lapras, especially in this gym. It's dominating so hard. I'm pretty confident to say right now that my Lapras probably won't die throughout this entire gym, so yeah, this, like I said before, this gym will really be a pushover. It'll, it'll be so freaking easy, man. And that's the end of Charmander. This is just way too easy, man. Ball picks. Maybe I should give my other Pokemon a run at some point. I don't know. Maybe I should, because it's just way too easy for Lapras right now. Maybe I should let my, uh, what's it called, my Nido Kingdom fight for a bit. Maybe, maybe. It's going to use a Growlithe, a Growly. I don't know. Guys, tell me how do you pronounce it. Growly or Growlithe? I have no idea. But anyway, I'm going to switch out to my Nido King because using my Lapras is way too easy. And I feel this is a good opportunity to grind and, you know, train up my Nido King. Growly's Intimidate cuts Nido King's attack. And I'm going to use Poison Sting just to try and poison it up first. So eventually it will... You know, it's, uh, what's it called? It's, it's HP will go down, like, like slowly but steadily, which is awesome, <laughs> no matter how cynical that sounds. Flame wheel. Is that? Oh, I hurt my poison. Owned. Um. What the hell? I swear I taught... Oh, <laughs> wow. I, I really thought... Wait. Wow. I actually, I actually thought I taught my, my Nido King Shockwave. What the hell? What the hell happened, man? Like, oh my god. I, I, I told you guys before that my Nido King actually learned Shockwave, but I, I swear I put the move Shockwave on my Nido King. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> whatever. I'll, t I'll teach you Shockwave after. Although Shockwave is probably not gonna. It's probably not gonna last longer in my Nido King's uh, move set because it's not really that useful and it's not really an end game worthy move. So, yeah, I'm probably going to remove it at some point when I eventually add it. But, yeah. But, for now, it'll probably be, you know, it'll be it'll be useful for the time being. Wah! My studies were insufficient. Your Pokemon battling skills were insufficient, bitch. And, yeah, I'm going to put my... Actually, I'm going to teach my Nido King Shockwave now. Um, TM Case. Should I teach it Surf? Nah, I won't. Because I, I think you can actually teach Nido King Surf, but... Nah, not now. Yeah, I'm going to teach it Shockwave. What move should I replace? I'm going to remove Fury Attack. One, two, three, and poof. Machine set. And Nido King has learned Shockwave. Awesome. I'm gonna get out. And now versus guy. What's his name? I like using fire type Pokemon. I just do. And I just like using all different type of Pokemon. Because I just do. Noob. Another burglar. Okay, this guy's going down. Every burglar I see deserves to get owned hard. Water pulse. And man, I forgot. To, oh, I was gonna put I was gonna put Nido King at the front of my team, but I forgot. Recoil owned. On KO. Oh, no, lucky. Um, and I'll just finish it off with Body Slam. Although I'm not sure if Body Slam gets some recoil, so... I think it gives recoil. 
I'm not even sure. And Lapras levels up. Level 37. Lapras is trying to learn Rain Dance, but Lapras can't learn more than four moves. Ma delete a move to make room for Rain Dance. Nah, I hate Rain Dance. It's kind of a pointless move. I know what it is, so I mean, I, I, yeah, like I said, I know what it is, and it's not probably not that it's probably not that useful. So there's no point really learning it. Too hot to handle. And now I'm gonna put Nido King to the front of my team. Before I do that, I'm going to heal my Pokemon. How many Super Potions do I have left? I have five. Eventually, when I stock up on more Potions, I'll probably spend my money on not Super Potions, but rather Hyper Potions, because simply because they're more effective in a way, because most of my Pokemon won't really run on Super Potions because they got high, higher HP now. So yeah, next time I stock up on potions it's going to be on hyper potions I know why Blaine became a trainer it's good to know buddy very good to know another nerd super nerd his name's Derek he sends out a Rapidash and holy crap even though that guy is a super nerd he has a super awesome Pokemon god damn that Rapidash looks fucking badass man damn Oh yeah, guys, if you're actually wondering, I don't know, I don't, you guys are probably never wondering, you guys are probably never wondered, but if I didn't have a Charizard and instead I chose, like, for example, uh, Venusaur or uh, Blastoise, what fire Pokemon would I get? I would probably get, not Rapidash, but rather Ar Arcanine or Arcanine, because it has extreme speed, uh, that, the move extreme speed, it's really fast overall, and I don't know, it just looks cool. Ow. Owned. And where is Blaine, man? I think Blaine's up there. Anyway. Um. Okay, now I'm putting Nido King up to the top of my team. I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style. Another burglar that... Freaking everywhere, man. A Bulbix. And for that, I will use Shockwave. First time using it. Hopefully, it does some serious damage. <laughs> Not really. That was kind of fail. What the hell is Grudge? Wants the opponent to bear a Grudge. I have no idea what that means, but whatever. I would attempt to try and say that word, but it's one of those words in life which I just cannot say. I mean, I can say it, but it would sound a bit weird. It's flame thrower. Just, oh, just, God, I just hate those words in life where you just can't say. It just pisses me off so much. Holy crap, that horn attack actually, actually did some decent damage, so I'm going to have to stick with it. And that should be the end of that Volpix. Yep, and a critical hit just to top it off. Will I change Pokemon? No. And a Growly. He is intimidate. Oh my god, lag. Fuck you. Stupid lag. Anyway, um. Horn attack. Fail. Blame wheel. Oh my god, please stop lagging. Seriously, man. That is so freaking annoying now. I'll use Poison Sting because it might. My Nido King, I feel that's not going to survive for long. Will even survive this attack. Didn't even poison it. It's hit with recoil. Okay. Yes, it got poisoned. Awesome. But it wasn't actually the poison sting. It was actually Nido King's. I guess you could say. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. But yeah. Nido King, the, the, the way it is, it can poison Pokemon just randomly. That's, that's basically what it is. I can't really explain it. What is that called? You know, those kind of. Those things that certain Pokemon have on the side. It's, it's not an attack, but it's kind of like an effect they're born with. I, I don't even know. I can't even explain it. I'm just failing to explain it right now. But anyway, I'm going to bring out Lapras. Wow, that was such a failure to speak like one sentence in the last like minute. That was so fail, man. Whoa, that was like a remix version of a Water Pulse, man. 
Ultra lag to the max. And my Lapras. Got some XP. Yowza, too hot. I don't know why I brought out my Lapras for that battle. It would have it made more sense to bring out one of my weaker Pokemon and kind of train it because that battle was pretty much done and dusted. But yeah, anyway, now... Oh, wow, not Blaine yet. I really thought that was Blaine, man. Really? Damn. I guess Blaine's in the next one. How awkward would it be if, if Blaine wasn't even in the next one? That would be so fail, man. Um, nah, screw it. I'm not going to train my Nidoking now. I'm just going to try and get serious with my Lapras and just finish it quickly. Fire is weak against H2O. And if you don't know what H2O, H2O is, it's basically water. So, yeah, so my Lapras would seriously do the job easily right here. And I will use... Let's try Ice Beam. I don't know why. Oh, what? I thought Ice Beam would be super effective. And oh my god, stop lag. Sorry for the constant lag. It's really pissing me off now. Lagged a couple of times unexpectedly. I don't know why, man. It must be my internet or something. Because there's nothing on my computer that could possibly make it slow. So it's probably just my internet being a bitch. So... <laughs> Sorry about that, but hopefully you guys still enjoy. Uh, Volpix, no, I'm not going to change Pokemon. And I will use Surf. And one hit KO, yes. Awesome. And I defeated the Super Nerd, Zack. Oh, snuffed out. Hell yeah, I did snuff you out, bitch. And oh my god, why do I keep lagging? Sorry about the constant lag, guys. It's kind of pissing me off. But uh, yeah, I'll try and get through it. I'm sorry if you guys <laughs> are getting really annoyed at the random lag. But yeah, I can't really do anything about it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, now I'm up to Blaine and I'm going to beat his ass. Ha! Huh. I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challenges. Ha! You better have a burn heal. Actually, I just used it before, so... Unfortunately, I have none, but... It won't really be required in this battle, because... Lapras is simply going to kick Blaine's ass. Um, and up first, obviously, I'm going to go for Surf. Number one move at the moment. One hit KO. Yep. Awesome. It's gonna use a Ponyta. No, I will not switch Pokemon. What's the point of switching Pokemon when I have my Lapras dominating hard? I'm assuming, well, at least in the Pokemon series, Blaine's main Pokemon was Magma, so I'm assuming his last Pokemon which he will bring out will probably be Magma. So, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Not. My Lapras is going to own the shit out of all his Pokemon, man. He brings out a Rapidash. And for that, I'm going to have to use Water Pulse. But he uses Fire Blast, my Lapras. And holy crap, that did a lot of damage. 1-8 KO. Nope. But I'm going to have to persist with Water Pulse because it'll get it eventually. It'll die eventually. Fire Blast. Wow, that nearly beat my Lapras so close. And that's the end of Rapidash. GG. And... No, it's not a... Wow, he's not using his Magma. I thought he would use a Magma, but instead he uses an Arcanine, which is an equally awesome Pokemon. It looks so cool, man. Like, I always wanted a, I always wanted an Arcanine. Like, before I started this game, I, I wanted an Arcanine, but... Obviously, since I have already have Charizard, um, you know, I can't... I'm not, not going to put two fire Pokemon on my team. It would be totally counterproductive. So, I thought, what's the point? So, I just, yeah, I, di I didn't catch it. Although, if I had any other any other Pokemon, like Blastoise or Venus, or like I said before, I would so catch an Arcanine. Just saying. And for now, I'll take out my Haunter. Bit unfortunate my Lapras didn't survive, but it is, it is what it is. Psychic, Fire Blast. Hopefully, that doesn't defeat my Haunter. One hit KO. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man. 
actually, yeah, I'm going to use Pikachu. I was, I was thinking maybe I should bring up my main Pokemon, which is Pidgeot, obviously. But nah, I'm going to try and chip away at Arcanine, although my Pikachu probably isn't going to survive long against his almighty Arcanine, so... Oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering, I know it's pretty obvious for most of you, but before the Pokemon series started, they were actually deciding about which, you know, who was going to be the legendary Pokemon and stuff like that. And Arcanine was actually supposed to be a legendary Pokemon, but the fact that, the, you know, they had like the other, you know, the legendary birds like um, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't really have made sense to have an Arcanine in there, like, because it's a dog, so... Instead, they scratched it and made Arcanine a normal Pokemon instead of a legendary Pokemon. But yeah, basically they replaced Arcanine with, uh, no, they replaced Moltres with Arcanine, so... It's a bit unfortunate because I reckon Arcanine is worthy enough to be a legendary type Pokemon. But like I said, it, uh, to think, if you think about it, it wouldn't really make sense to make Arcanine a legendary Pokemon, especially with the other two birds, so... Yeah, I think... I, I'm pretty sure... Game Freak or whatever, or who were the people who created on Pokemon? I think it was four kids. Yeah, I think they made the right decision by making Arcanine a normal Pokemon. And holy crap, I just realized that Arcanine pretty much took out my entire team. My entire Pokemon team all by himself. Wow. Okay, that just proves Arcanine is pretty damn awesome. But anyway, enough bucking around. I'm going to use my Pidgeot now, and this should be over pretty damn quickly. Fire Blast. Thankfully, I used Fly. And that should be the end of Arcanine. Yep. And a critical hit just to top it off. And Pidgeot should level up. That is a lot of XP. Grid level 49. One level away from the level 50. And I defeated the leader, Blaine. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge. And I got $4,700 4, Pokemon dollars for winning the battle. Ha! Huh. The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. And I received the TM38. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. So, yeah, I got the move Fire Blast. Beat all the trainers within the Cinnabar Gym. And I beat Blaine's ass. But, uh, yeah... That is uh, it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I will be seeing you guys next time. Peace.